So we've arrived in Portugal, um, and that's the first training session complete. How did it go? Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, we turned a little bit earlier than we do normally because of the heat. Um, the boys were down for breakfast nice and early up, an hour and a half session, back, ice baths, bit of pool work, um, gym session at half two, and then back on the training pitch tonight at six o'clock. So they'll be well worked, and um, it's always a useful exercise for us. How do camps like this benefit the squad? Well, it's good. I mean, this season we've we've only got two or three new lads, but certainly last year when we brought six or seven in, it helps obviously bond everyone together. And I, and I think you know back home, obviously the weather's never a, a definite, and and the you know the training surfaces at this time of year when the grass is just going back, you know groundsmen want you to stay off the parks because of the seeding and um, let the grass come through. So it's an ideal. Um, place to come. Obviously we've been here two years ago, last year was Spain, now we're back here, it's quiet as you can see and the lads can just so, you know, f focus solely on the on the training and working hard and, and enjoying each other's company. Obviously the World Cup's on so we'll watch you know bits of that together and it's just um, about you know that togetherness and uh, but also you know the main part of it is being able to get some good training sessions done and that's the key. Looking ahead to the new season as well, what's your goals for the, uh, the forthcoming season? I think every every year you want to try to improve on, and that that's in every walk of life. I think you always want to try to improve. Um, you know, if anyone said last season we would have got more than the points tally from the previous year, you know, I said that would be um, an impossibility. It's okay having goals, but I think you've got to have realistic goals. Um, you know, so to improve on seventy points from last season would be very, very, very highly unlikely, obviously. Um, again, I think, you know, the day we think we can take for granted a top six finish is the day we'll start struggling. So, first and foremost, as we always, we aim um, for that top top six finish. You know, I've still look at a lot of sides, maybe sides that we're going to lose players have, haven't lost the players that they were going to lose up to the moment. You know, you look even up at Inverness, we've got a, a solid squad together now and Billy Mackay was supposed to be moving on, Stevie May was supposed to be moving on from St, St. Johnson, um, maybe Dundee United were going to lose a couple and things like that. So, um, no, you, again, I said it last season, we, we, we want to improve on his cup formats without doubt, but I think we just want to be as competitive as we can and, and do the best we can. And, and with the, the characters that we've got in the dressing room, then they'll want to be as good as they were last season, and that's what you've got to aim for. Being in surroundings less, I can't help but look forward to European trips. Is it something you're looking forward to as well? Yeah, but whether the surroundings will be like this at, uh, in, in North Wales or in Iceland, but uh, yeah, you know, we, we, I mean, even just watching the World Cup, you're looking at players there that we've played against in the last two or three seasons, you know, and they, they're through to the last 16, last eight of the, the World Cup. So we've had some tough trips, but really good trips. Certainly away from home, you know, Levante getting beat 1-0. Last year, Krasnodar missing a penalty in the last minute and get beat 1-0. We've, we've put in some decent performances, um, but obviously the weather and the heat, uh, whoever the next opponents are, won't be a problem as it was. The travelling won't be a problem. Um, but I'm certainly, we need to be up and running. We get back um, Friday night, we'll, we'll get a game Sunday. We'll have a game Tuesday and Wednesday, um, a game Saturday, and then, then we're into it. So it'll come round quick. So we've impressed on the boys. If Again, watching the World Cup, I mean, the key word seems to be tempo and work rate. And obviously the individual players are showing the flair and, and you know, great ability to have. But the, the lesser teams, you know, like your Costa Ricans and, and Chile to an extent and you know, the sides that have gone, gone a little bit further than most people thought is because of the, 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 the high fitness levels. So we've got to aim for that as well. And this is another good reason why this camp allows us three sessions a day. Yeah. And David Clarkson's travelled with the squad. Is he someone you're casting your eye over then? Yeah, well, well, David was available to come and train for a couple of days before we came away. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a player who obviously knows the club been here before, is at a, an age where you know you, you normally get your peak performances, 28, 29. That's when uh, you're supposed to be hitting your prime, really. Uh, um, and he plays in an area, although he's not played in a position up front that often in his you know, last couple of seasons. Um, I think you know we, we want to have a little look at him um, and, and see how it progresses. It's not anything that's a, a definite. Um, he can have a look at us, we can have a look at him. 
You know, last year we had Reedy come in, unfortunately. At the time, we, we couldn't bring Reedy in. We've had other players come away with us. Fraser Kay came here two years ago, you know, on loan from Birmingham to have a look at, and we, we, we kept him on. And, uh, oh, you wouldn't think we're out in this lovely sunny climate and our lads are sneezing all over with colds, are you? But, um, no, so it's, it, it's something um, we'll have a... We'll, we'll have a look at over the next, you know, four days. The first couple of days, you know, you're only looking when you're back home at fitness levels. I need to be able to watch, you know, Davey as a player and, and see if he would fit into our system.